Well, greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma. This is Teagaw 3D. Today's episode, we are going to talk about salvaging a botched top layer using the offset feature in Simplify 3D. So setting the stage here, that's my birdie. Setting the stage here, I was printing a different kind of bird. I was printing a cardinal, the process of which is um, what I overviewed in my previous video. I use multiple processes in Simplify 3D. So in the case of the cardinal, I'm doing three separate processes. I do two millimeters of red, and I run them as separate prints. So that print will finish, and my nozzle will lift up just 100 millimeters and wait for me to switch filaments. And I'll begin the next print, which will do orange for another uh, 0 0.3 millimeters and then I would switch to black and do the final 0.3 millimeters. So uh, in this case I was doing a batch and I wasn't paying close attention to it. Uh, red came out great uh, when I got to the orange. Uh, unbeknownst to me I had my factory file uh, set uh, that process was starting up a little too high so it only did two layers of the orange and not only that the first layer didn't have good contact with the red underneath it so it really didn't smoosh down to give a nice good coverage so when I got to the finish of the orange I'm like oh it looked awful this isn't something that I could put out at a craft show and this is something I would be concerned about shipping out as an Etsy order because I didn't want to get poor reviews I don't have to throw away the whole batch what I did was I just went to the Simplify 3D and I had all my little uh, cardinal models laid out here and I just went ahead and told each one to go up just 0.2 millimeters uh, so they're raised off of the bed and then what I was going to do is I made an emergency uh, additional process and I told it to go ahead and start printing where it left off and print for just two layers of 0.10 millimeters each. Uh, so that allowed me to give myself two extra layers of coverage to conceal my previous error. I am on Simplify 3D. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to my uh, tool panel, my machine control panel, and the jog controls tool, and I'm just going to move my nozzle a little bit. Uh, Maker Gear M2 has a safety feature. If it doesn't receive commands, it's going to shut everything off. I don't want to lose all my homing and my positioning information right now. All right, so I'm just going to nudge it to keep it active. And uh, this is the process that just finished. I'm going to go ahead and exit my preview mode. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is save my factory file in case I mock anything up. I have like a little um, backup point that I could come here. I'm going to go ahead and nudge these guys up 0.2 millimeters up off the bed. And what I'm going to do is run a process to do two more layers of orange. So I'm going to click on my cardinal, my Z offset, I'm going to do 0.02. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that for all these little guys. All of these guys are going to be just slightly off the bed. Okay. So my original process that I ran, ran from the point 2.4 millimeters to the 2.6 millimeters. And now what I want to do is just run two more. So I'm going to go from the 2.6 to the 2.8 and I'm going to preview it. Yeah. And since uh, these guys are moved up, it's going to pick up those detailings again. So I'm going to go ahead and start printing. So um, after those uh, last two layers of orange ran, it was Perfect. It was, it was something that I felt confident that I can put out on my craft show booth and not be embarrassed. Okay, in this case, yes, I had my printer. It was already waiting for me. My axes were already home, so I didn't have to uh, reorient it, everything. Um, but you can still do this, even if everything shut down, your heater shut down, and the bed got dropped. Uh, if you look at one of my early videos, and I'm really sorry about the audio, I didn't have it figured out by like then, but if you look at one of my earlier videos, it'll show you how you can go ahead and resume a print. So you would have the ability, if this was your last layer and everything uh, jumped down, uh, you could go ahead and restart the print and rehome your accesses and start from that place and 
and add the extra coverage to hide your mistakes. I've done it many times. And if you have subsequent processes like I do with the cardinal, I still need to print the black. Don't forget to adjust the starting point of that process as well uh, to accommodate the extra layers. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope it helps save some of your botched top layers. And um, if you have any questions or comments, you can comment down here on YouTube. You can reach me at Twitter at TJW. And I have a 3D printing blog at www.tjw.com. Thank you guys and have a great day.